Questions et commentaires. Questions and comments. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the Prime Minister for participating and being part of this debate. Uh, I look at our country, Mr. Speaker, and I've never seen it as divided as, as it is now under this Prime Minister, whether it's regional lines, whether it's ethnic, uh, ethnic lines, whether it's people's health care choices. Uh, this, this country is more divided than ever, and the Prime Minister talks about things like respecting each other, and we are not fighting against each other. We are fighting a virus. And I, I have two very simple questions for him. When he decided to introduce the vaccine mandate, he believed it was the right thing to do. Does he regret calling people names who, who didn't take the vaccine? Does he regret calling people misogynist and racist and just escalating and, and, and poking sticks at them? and being so divisive to individual Canadians that he might not disagree with, that he might have thought were wrong. Does he regret that? And will he agree to meet with the leaders here, the other opposition leaders and myself, so that we can talk about a solution in the way that he's described? Mr. Speaker, this is, this, we are in uncharted unchart territory. We are at a, a crisis point, not only with what's going on out the doors and, and across the country, but the country overall. And so much of it is because of the things that he has said and done. Does he regret his words? And will he work with us so that we can find some resolution? Thank you. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I think people watching expect me to disagree with uh, the leader of the official opposition. Um, I just didn't think it would be about something so fundamental. She is telling people tonight that Canada has never been so divided, never been so angry, a one region against another. And I disagree. What we have seen over these past two years has been Canadians stepping up for each other in extraordinary ways. Canada has one of the highest vaccination rates of our peer countries around the world. Why? And it's not because Canadians love getting needles. It's because Canadians trust science. Canadians trust each other to do the right things. It's in our national psyche of being able to be there for our neighbours, being able to push uh, a car out of a snowbank uh, for a perfect stranger, being leaning on each other. These are the things that define Canadians. And what we saw through these past two years is people stepping up for our frontline health workers, stepping up for our grocery store clerks, leaning on each other, supporting our seniors, supporting our young people, young people getting there, uh, stepping up to do what they could around the house to help out while their parents, while they're all locked down. This is a story of a country that got through this pandemic by being united and a few people shouting and waving swastikas does not define who Canadians are. Yeah. Yeah.